Welcome to the No Aim, No Gain YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss how the 48 laws of power are used in the drama series, the TV show, The Wire. Now pay close attention here because there's some very interesting things that I've picked up. You cannot afford to miss. So let's get started. Wire is a highly praised TV show that looks at how different institutions and people interact in Baltimore, Maryland. It covers many parts of the city like the drug trade, the police, schools, politics and the media. The characters often use tactics and strategy similar to those in Robert Greene's book The 48 Laws of Power. Here are some examples. Law number one, never outshine the master. Stringer Bell understands the importance of not outshining Avon Barksdale. While Stringer is the brains behind many of the operations, business decisions, he lets Avon the more charismatic leader take the spotlight this maintains the power dynamics within the organization law number three conceal your intentions omar little consistently conceals his intentions especially when planning the heist against drug dealers he uses misdirection and secrecy to execute his plans successfully law number six court attention at all costs Tommy Carsetti leverages media and public appearance to gain attention and advance his political career. He understands the importance of visibility and uses it to position himself as a reformer and a man of the people. Law number 15, crush your enemies totally. Stanfield embodies this law in his ruthless approach to dealing with rivals. He ensures that any threat to his power is completely eliminated leaving no room for retaliation law number 21 play a sucker to catch a sucker jimmy mcnilty uses his strategy when dealing with suspects and colleagues he often pretends to be less competent or knowledgeable to lure others into underestimating him thereby gaining the upper hand law number 27 play on people's needs to believe to create a cult like following brother Mazun maintains an almost mythic status amongst those in the drug trade his reputation for being a cold calculated enforcer instills fear and respect creating an aura of invincibility around him law number 29 play all the way to the end stringer ball meticulously plans his moves whether in the drug trade or his attempts to go legitimate his strategic thinking and foresight are evident in his efforts to invest in real estate and establish real estate and legitimate business ventures. Law number 33, discover each man's thumbscrew. Monk, Moorland and Lester Freeman are adept at finding the weaknesses in suspects and using their vulnerabilities to extract confessions of or cooperation. Their investigative skills often involve understanding personal motivations and exploiting them law number 36 disdain things you cannot have ignoring them is the best revenge Bodhi brothers displays this when he refuses to be broken by the system or his enemies despite facing overwhelming odds he maintains his dignity refuses to let others see him as a victim law number 42 strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter omar little effectively uses this law when targeting key figures in the drug organizations by taking out high-ranking members he creates chaos and weakens the overall structures of his enemy law number 48 assume formlessness stanfield and his crew adapt quickly to changing circumstances they constantly shift their strategies and operations to stay ahead of the law and rival gangs demonstrating a fluid approach to maintaining power summary the tv show the wire is full of characters and situations that show the 48 laws of power in action it realistically depicts how power works in different organizations and among people trying to gain control and survive the characters choices and behaviors illustrate these power principles making the show a deep exploration of power and its complexities so let me know what your thoughts are guys in the comments below and if you like this video today i'd really appreciate it if you like comment share and subscribe 
to our YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next one.